Sometimes we just have to accept that things are out of reach for us. For us bikers, the RC45 is one of them. But what if I told you Honda would also secretly release this bike under the disguise of a sports tour just a few years later? The RC45 was released in 1994 as a homologation bike built for the Superbike World Championship with only 200 units being produced, making this one of Honda's rarest production bikes. After the success of the RC30, the RVF 750 as it was also known really had to pull out all the stops. Part of the success story for the RC30 was that it was a hand-built race bike and was affordably priced for individual riders and smaller race teams. With a dry weight of 190 kilos, the Honda was considerably lighter than the competitive GSXR 750, which weighed out at 235 kilos, making the RC45 a dream to handle. Honda focused less on power figures and more on engineering art and fine craftsmanship. The fact that only 200 of them were ever made worldwide makes the RC45 a collector's dream and only makes the cult following grow bigger. The great thing about the following is that we get to see many proud owners showing them off even here on YouTube. Not all of them are confined to a museum but rather enjoyed and driven as it should be. The popularity only makes people more ambitious to get their hands on one just to experience the thrill this mid 90s racing machine can bring. Unfortunately for some of us we ain't so lucky and I've come to accept that I'll probably never get to ride one of these awesome machines. But what if I told you Honda would have also released this bike under a slightly different name with toned down styling to make it more attractive to the average buyer. So in 1998 Honda would release its 5th generation VFR 800 also known as the RC46. Yes it may be a completely different bike but hear me out. The new fuel injected motor would be based on the RC45. Here you can see the finished engines look near identical. In fact Honda actually used the RC45 crankcase models but modified so no more RC45s could ever be built. Foot pegs would sit lower and the handlebars a bit higher giving better ergonomics for the rider and giving them a more comfortable upright riding position. The VFR is by no means trying to be a sports bike. It was purely built for commuting and that's what it does best. Even though the VFR lacks a multicoloured paint job and lost its bug eyed styling, the heart and soul of the RC45 remains, allowing just about everyone a chance to experience what the RC45 had to offer. And if anything, you're getting a more refined bike, something which was designed with a rich racing heritage and one that has proved itself for many owners all over the world. And it's not like it's a 50 grand collector's item, there seems to be an endless supply of 5th gen VFRs for the taking. Some projects and high mileage examples can be found for as little as £500. That being said, a lot of these bikes were treated as disposable daily riders and winter beaters, so it may be advised to look for a machine with lower miles or with a good service history. If you have a bit more money to spend, try look for one of these rare 50th anniversary editions built by RS in the UK. There was only about 50 of these units sold and they had a nice few standard mods such as upgraded suspension, Harris rear sets which sat slightly higher, a Remus can and of course the custom paintwork. So if you do fancy picking up one of these bikes today, you'll find plenty of clean examples for sale on the used bike market. Many still unmodified and messed with apart from the odd pair of heated grips and a touring screen. Actually the most bizarrely modified version I've ever seen popped up on the 44T channel the other day. And the lads also had a nice few words to say, even though Alistair was a bit slow to admit it. Uh, I quite <laughs> like the bike, that's a VFR 800 isn't it? Yes. Yeah. They're brilliant bikes. They're, they're, in fact, along with the SV650, the VFR 750 and the VFR 800 are probably the best bikes in the world. Yeah. And actually, it's a, it's a good bike. That is prime budget by battle bike material, that. Mm. Have you served one of those with a decent exhaust on it? They're, br they're brilliant. They're just dull as fuck. So while it may be fair criticism to call the VFR a boring bike, it doesn't really take away from the fact that it's extremely well built and over 20 years on it would still be considered one of the best bikes in the world. So if you want to experience a rare 90s sports bike for a fraction of the price, take a look at the 5th gen VFR from 1998 to 2001 before the secret gets out. So thanks for watching, if you enjoyed please subscribe for more or watch this video next to find out why I hate VFR. See you next time.